On the broadcast this minute is VOA White House Bureau Chief Patsy with the Kuswara from the Harris headquarters in Washington, D.C. Hi, Patsy. Uh, good to have you on the show. Let me begin by asking you for your assessment of what the mood is looking like, where you're standing. Well, from the Harris campaign, the mood they tell us is that they really want to stay focused and calm and confident of the results as this process goes through. They say that they're very proud of the organization that they have built with this and also the huge campaign cash that they have raised close to a billion dollars. It's about two and a half times more than Donald Trump. And they're also very proud of the fact that they got to this point just in three months after Kamala Harris uh, became the Democratic nominee. Uh, you can probably see behind me the preparations are on the way to get the stage, the stage set up for uh, the vice president if she does come uh, to join us later this evening. Uh, the schedule is uh, still unclear at this point. But one thing that the Harris campaign is saying is that they are also very much prepared for the kind of election, legal election challenge, and also issues with certification of results that may arise from the Trump campaign. They say that they are uh, ready to fight this with facts and ready to fight it with their own legal army of people who will fight for every vote to be counted. Right, Patsy, I also want to get in a, a quick uh, assessment and reaction from you on the disruptions to the electoral process that have been reported uh, over uh, the last couple of hours. What more can you tell us about that? So the danger of these kind of processes or disruptions of the process, even though dis the disruptions themselves are small and can easily be taken care of and fixed almost immediately, uh, usually all the election officials in the counties and the precincts they have a game plan and they already have backup plans, plan B and plan C and so on for if anything happens. But the danger of this is not the actual disruptions themselves, but the misinformation and disinformation that could arise that could sow doubt in the trust of the election system. We know that a majority of Trump supporters are already questioning the validity and the integrity of the election process. And this is something that uh, president, former President Donald Trump himself like to point out, saying that he will not accept the results of the elections unless it's fair, fair meaning that he wins it. This is the narrative that he's been telling to uh, his supporters is that the only way that Harris can win this election is if the campaign steals it. Right. Uh, Patsy, we also heard from Donald Trump just a short while back. Interesting comments there. Any reaction? Uh, to what he has had to say. He has also outlined once again uh, the key priorities as far as his campaign has been concerned. Well, the react from the Harris campaign, there's not really any more reaction. I think Vice President Kamala Harris has already delivered her closing argument last night. I mean, she went to five different cities in Pennsylvania. You mentioned this as an important key swing state. Uh, the swing state, a battleground state that has 19 electoral votes. And she went to five different cities in basically less than 12 hours and delivered her closing argument, which is promoting unity, promoting a new way forward, and, you know, not uh, not wanting to turn back and not wanting to uh, succumb to the divisiveness that Donald Trump uh, delivers. This is what her campaign is saying. So uh, I don't think there's going to be much reaction in terms of uh, coming in from the Harris campaign to whatever Donald Trump says today. Uh, like I mentioned before, the message from her campaign is to stay focused and calm and confident as this process goes through. All right. Uh, stay with me, uh, Patsy. A quick reaction also from uh, Lester Munson. Senior Fellow, National Security Institute, co-head of the international practice at BGR Group and Senior Fellow at National Security Institute. Good to have you with us here. Um, what, according to you, would be the key differentiator between a Trump White House and a Harris White House? Well, uh, there would probably be several differentiators. I think the the main one is the, the chaos that would likely be brought to the office by Donald Trump. He's unpredictable. Uh, his decisions change from moment to moment to the position that's most advantageous to him personally. He's very transactional. He is not an ideologue. Whereas I think in a Harris administration, you would see uh, President Harris be much more loyal to her party's principles and the base of support it has in Congress and among the voters. So you have a chaos agent versus a more predictable, progressive agenda with Kamala Harris.
Right. Uh, what do you make of uh, the kind of outreach that the two camps have made uh, to various uh, demographic sects, but also specifically uh, to the Indian Americans? Well, it's this election is very close. Uh, the the polls show it's 50-50 nationally. It's 50-50 in all of the swing states, particularly Pennsylvania, and perhaps the second most important state would be Michigan. So anything those candidates can do to increase their vote totals among any group could be the difference maker. So Indian Americans are an increasingly large part of the American electorate. It makes sense for both candidates to make that appeal. Kamala Harris, of course, has some Indian heritage herself. So it's a, perhaps a more logical play for her. Meanwhile, uh, Donald Trump may have other ways to appeal to that demographic, but it's the, the, the two candidates are also making appeals to Muslim Americans, Arab Americans, Jewish Americans, white Americans, black Americans, Latino Americans. They're doing anything they can to increase their vote totals, particularly in Pennsylvania and Michigan. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.